In this video, you will learn about the ARCHICAD cursor. The cursor changes shape as we work and that depends on the tool we are using and what we are trying to do at the time. When the standard selection tool, the arrow tool is active, you will see the most common cursor, which is the arrow. When it doesn't interact with anything, it just stands on its own. Whenever you move the cursor toward any other object, you will see a symbol appearing next to the arrow. If you move it over an edge, a Mercedes icon will show. When the icon is bold, heavy, the cursor is placed on a reference line of an element. You can check the reference line of an element by selecting it and looking for the blue highlighted line. When you move over the other side, the icon is thinner. The same logic applies to nodes or corner points. In this case, the symbol is a tick. Again, if the node is on the reference side, it becomes heavier. If you move over an intersection point, like at this wall junction, you see a cross indicating that you are over an intersection. Additionally, if you select an element and copy it with the drag and copy command, a plus icon will be added next to the cursor, indicating that you are about to place a copy. One commonly used feature of the arrow tool is the quick selection option, also known as the magnet. Whenever it's activated, you will see a little magnet next to the arrow, showing that if you click on something, not necessarily an edge or node, it will select the element with one click. If you activate a tool, uh, the wall for example, the cursor becomes a cross instead of an arrow, indicating that the software is ready to create an element in white space. If you go over an edge or a node, the cursor will reflect depending on its position, a Mercedes, a tick or a cross, but without the arrow this time. When you click once to start placing an element, the cursor changes to a pen. The pen will be filled with ink whenever you are on a known point, so it becomes a solid black pen. But whenever you are in an empty, undefined space, the pen will be empty as well. If you move over an edge in this state, you will see a line appear across the middle of the pen. Another common cursor is the eyedropper and the syringe. If you hold down the ALT key, the cursor will show an eyedropper with which you can pick up the settings of a specific element. Whenever you've picked up something, you can hold down the ALT and the CTRL keys together, which will activate the syringe. If you click on another element of the same type in this state, then the settings you picked up will be injected into this other element. Last but not least, there's the magic wand. To see how it works, let's activate the slab tool first. I've deleted the slab used as a floor finish from the storage room beforehand, so you can better see what happens. To create a new slab with the inner polygon of this room, you just need to press and hold the spacebar on the keyboard and the cursor will turn into a magic wand. If you are inside a closed polygon, you will see the preview of the slab highlighted with the blue lines. Click and you're done. You can use the magic wand with many tools for many different purposes in other situations. That concludes the most commonly seen and used cursor types of ARCHICAD.